Hello everyone. Today I wanted to give a quick just general overview of four point leveling of uh, the gantry leveling of a V2 versus two point leveling on a V1. Um, I gotten some questions about um, you know my V1.8 bed is not level you know it's impossible to level help me. Uh, so I just wanted to make a quick video and just show you kind of what to look for. So um, First of all, first things first, you want to make sure that your, your build plate is flat. Um, in this case, for the Voron, we use um, cast aluminum, so it is very thermally stable um, and it comes flat um, you know, from the manufacturer, essentially. Um, so for all purposes of this discussion, we're going to assume that that is perfectly flat. Um, so um, you know, always know the general rule that three points to define a plane. So for here, um, I have spaced off this build plate um, off of uh, this piece of wood right here with <laughs> three warrant cubes. So theoretically, um, this plane is defined. It can't move around anywhere because it's been defined in each position. The tricky part, though, is that um, this plane is defined you know, relative to this plane. Um, but how our printer sees it is actually relative to these rails on the sides. Um, so on the V2, uh, these are floating. Um, each position in the corner um, is adjusted individually with a, a motor. Um, but on a V1, these are fixed to the frame. So these do not move at all. And this is where four point leveling versus three point leveling really comes into play. If these two um, extrusions are in the same plane, that is, they're perfectly parallel to each other, you know, this corner isn't up um, or anything like that, they're perfectly level, you know, down to the point zero 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 millimeter, uh, you know, spacing on each corner, then three points define a plane because these two are a plane and this is a plane defined by three points. That's all great. However, things are imperfect in the world. And so, in general, what may happen, you know, even if you perfectly measure everything out, maybe, you know, I'm going to exaggerate it, maybe this corner is really like this. And then, in this case, there is no um, combination of points. If you were to adjust these three points, you know, if this is this way, this is not in the same plane as this, and then there is no way to level that. Um, you'll end up seeing this um, kind of... If you do a bed mesh, you'll see that, you know, with V1.8, we level off of two points back here with the probe, so it'll tilt side to side, but then here, maybe this side will be high and this side will be low. The plate's not actually warped. It's really your relative reference here in this corner or that corner or whatever corner you have may be slightly high or slightly low. So what you want to do is that, you know, if you're, if you're you know, having... Um, trouble getting the entire plane flat, do a bed mesh, and then see in these corners um, if they're high or low. And if you know this corner's high and this corner's low, um, vice versa, adjust these two points. Remember, these are attached to the vertical extrusions with blind joints. So you can actually insert a, um, a hex wrench slightly and, and tilt it up just ever so slightly. It might only be you know, a fraction of a millimeter out but you can tweak these points and how they're mounted to the frame so that these are on the same plane. And then once those are on the same plane, you can use these three points to define this to be parallel, this plane to be parallel to these two, which are on a plane. So that's really confusing. I just wanted to do a quick video just to explain that, you know, because we keep on saying three points to find a plane. Well, you can define a plane, this plane relative to this plane, but if these two are not on the same plane, then it's impossible. So that's where the V2 is kind of unique in that these are flexible. So you never have to worry about these being tilted or anything like that because it automatically levels it. Um, that's the advantage of the V2. Um, it's also the additional complexity. So I just wanted to get that out there. If you have any questions, I may do a follow-up video um, to kind of show you the process of how I go through uh, the bed mesh process and clipper and physically adjust the height of these positions um, where they're attached to the vertical extrusions to make sure that this and this extrusion are on the same plane. That's it for now. Thank you so much.